Donc, bonjour à toutes et à tous et bienvenue à cette dixième réunion internationale des alumni et des alumni de l'Institut. Euh, que vous soyez présents en ligne ou aujourd'hui ici à Genève, on commence doucement avec l'Assemblée Générale. Euh, donc, mon nom est Karine Leu et je suis responsable des relations avec nos anciennes élèves et nos anciens élèves. Donc, pour euh, célébrer cette journée euh, qui vous est consacrée, qui est consacrée à la reconnaissance euh, de vos réalisations et de vos accomplissements, je vous propose l'agenda suivant. Nous allons commencer maintenant avec l'Assemblée générale de l'Association des anciens. Puis, à partir de 15h30, nous allons célébrer ici euh, nos alumni, euh, dont le portrait sera dévoilé tout à l'heure, euh, juste après la danse des colibris d'abord, puis une panel discussion euh, sur euh, From Environment to Sustainability, Time to Rethink Everything, où nous allons euh, pouvoir entendre euh, Laure Varidel, qui vient du Canada pour l'occasion, Laurence Boisson de Chazourne, qui est en ce moment professeur invité au Collège de France, et puis Jacques Greenwald, qui nous fait l'amitié d'être déjà là ce matin. Ensuite, nous monterons à l'étage et nous aurons un moment d'échange avec les étudiants qui sont très friands de vous rencontrer, qui ont déjà commencé hier avec euh, la majorité du comité qui était déjà présent et qui sont vraiment très, très, très voilà, excités de pouvoir vous rencontrer, de, de pouvoir discuter avec vous et échanger. Donc, on espère que ce moment sera tout à fait convivial euh, à l'étage avec, pour l'occasion, un étudiant euh, pianiste et un autre saxophoniste de l'École de musique de Genève. Et puis, le soir, nous nous retrouverons euh, au Beau Rivage pour notre traditionnelle soirée. Cet après-midi, nous allons aussi offrir des awards parce que nous avons neuf awards à offrir cette année. Donc vraiment, euh, merci à, à tous nos alumni qui sont présents pour l'occasion. Et donc, nous commençons immédiatement avec l'Assemblée Générale. J'appelle euh, notre chère présidente qui nous vient de Johannesburg, Madame Nathalie Africa. C'est ouvert normalement. C'est OK. okay you don't bon. need it. It's from there. OK. So, um, bonjour, bon après-midi à tout le monde. Um, C'est un plaisir de vous revoir cette année. Um, merci à vous tous qui sont ici cet après-midi. Um, je ne sais pas si c'est la pluie, mais je pense que c'est la première fois que la salle est, um, est tellement vide. Mais um, merci à vous tous qui sont là parce que vous avez fait l'effort cette um, sur cette journée et um, on apprécie vos efforts. Um, so today we are going to have a program around the um, assembly, um, the general assembly, which will include sharing with you some of our highlights from the previous year. Um, we will also talk to you a little bit about our priorities for next year. Um, we will introduce some new committee members to you because we will have some changes in the committee. And we will also talk about some of the prizes and scholarships that we are awarding um, this year. But before we go into all that, the first um, agenda point for today is going to be around the adoption du procès verbal de l'année dernière. Et je pense que Karine a distribué une copie à tout le monde. Um, so if there are no objections, could I please ask if someone is ready to adopt the procès verbal? And... Um, If someone can second that. Merci, Paul. Et merci, merci. Okay, so thank you very much for that. So, um, vous avez devant vous les membres du comité actuel. Il y a um, six personnes qui sont maintenant um, on stage. Il y a deux personnes qui ne sont pas avec nous aujourd'hui à cause du voyage. Um, Ms. Brendusa Burrows um, ne, ne pouvait pas être avec nous aujourd'hui, and Mr. Jason Shelby. Um, but you have here all the other members, and I'd like to salute them all and thank them for all their support and effort this past year and over the last few years. Um, for me, this is my eighth year on the committee. Um, and during this time, I have worked with some of the members like Jason, who also has been with me for eight years, um, Walid, who has been on the committee for four years, um, the same with Jessica Ting, and it's really been a pleasure 
because we come together, we meet regularly, and what we all have in common is a loyalty and commitment to this institute that has helped shape our careers and helped shape our lives. And that gives us something in common that creates a solidarity amongst us. So being on the committee for me has been an honor, it's been a privilege, and I have got to meet and work with fantastic people. So this is our current committee, and I will share with you in a minute, some, in a few minutes, some of the changes that are going to occur with the committee today and introduce some new members that we are nominating. But first, let me go into some of the other topics for today. So first, the highlights from the last year. As you know, the work of the Alumni Committee is really to be an advisory body, to be the face of the global alumni community with the Institute. We work on three main angles. The first is really to create and promote solidarity amongst the alumni through events like today. The other is to support the Institute in its mission and its reputation and to attract new students to the Institute by being role models for what the Institute represents. And the third is to work with students and to show students that we want to support them, that we care about their progress. When Karine mentioned that we'll be interacting with them later, that's an important um, task of the alumni. So the highlights that you see, they really relate to all of those activities. I won't go through all of them, but a few that I will highlight. This is this year, the 10th year of the alumni reunion, which is fantastic. And I really want to say well done to Karine and her team who have managed every year to produce a fantastic alumni event and got better and better each year. So this year is number 10. Um, it's number eighth year of the Alumni Awards, and this year we are giving out a record nine awards. And these awards were created a few years um, back so that we could honor the um, achievements of alumni. You know, we have alumni who go out and achieve amazing things in the world, and we want people to know. So nine this year. Um, we continue to grow the chapter heads and ambassadors. You'll see on a map just now how we have so many groups now in terms of our global presence. Um, we have prizes and scholarships, which I'll talk about just now. Um, Karine has organized for the second year in a row an alumni month in March, which is aimed at having students interact with alumni, get lessons from alumni on their career journeys and so on. And she has done this now twice in a year, and it's been very successful. Um, a few other student events mentioned there under the rubric of Inspire Students. And then continuing to communicate through the newsletter, and then, of course, the portraits of inspiring alumni. And some of those we will um, hear about um, later this afternoon. We also launched this year the platform, an uh, electronic platform, AlumForce, for the alumni community, but we'll talk about that a little more um, later in the presentation. So these are some of the key highlights which Karine and her team have helped to drive together with the support and advice of the alumni com committee. So these are some of the nine, um, or the nine, who we will be celebrating um, during the course of today in terms of distinguished alumni. You will hear more about them later, so I won't um, go into detail now. Three of them will be on the panel um, discussion this afternoon, and the others we will be awarding at the dinner tonight. But just to say we're very excited, and I feel humbled when I see the caliber of um, you know, alumni that have come out of the Institute. Um, it's, a, it's really, like I say, a privilege to be part of this exciting community of people who are doing good and wonderful things in the world, and are usually also very good and humble people. Um, so this is um, the representation of the alumni community throughout the world, and you can see that we have chapters, we have ambassadors, and um, a presence really that, that is global. Um, in the eight years that I've been on the committee, we've continued to see this chapter and ambassador network grow, which is really good. It shows that people have an appetite to stay connected to the institute, to want to be the face of the institute wherever they are. And with the new electronic platform, you will be able to engage with these groups directly. Um, and Karine will talk a little bit about that later, I think. So in terms of the scholarships and prizes, I'm going to go through a couple um, to, to the ones that we are awarding this year. As you know, every year the alumni community awards a scholarship to a student. 
we raise the money for that scholarship through the raffle that we buy tickets for during the reunion. When we buy tickets for the reunion, the dinner um, in the evening, we often put a bit more money if we can. And through that fundraising, we award a scholarship to a student. So this year, the scholarship is going to Gloria Ifuan Nkrumah. And you can see a profile of her there. We will be giving her the award. Um, we will be recognizing her tonight at the dinner. So thank you to all of you who have been generous and who continue to contribute to the scholarship. We have the prize, which is given by the alumni community every year. And this is a prize of 2,000 Swiss francs. Um, this year, it was awarded to Rohit Tiku. Um, some of you who may have been here at the ceremonies yesterday, you'll have seen him come up. Um, but he, his thesis was on empirical essays on conflict and corruption. And so his was judged by the faculty um, the best um, thesis this year. And finally, um, this is just a summary of the growth in terms of the alumni portal. And I'd actually last ask, like to ask Karine to say a little bit about this so that she can interpret um, the portal and the statistics a little bit to you. So Karine, si tu veux um, juste dire quelques mots. Vous le savez, on a une communauté de près de 20 000 alumni dans le monde. Euh, L'EPFL a lancé l'an dernier une, une plateforme qui ressemble à la nôtre. Et après un an, ils avaient 10 de leur base de données qui, euh, qui était activée euh, sur le portail euh, qu'ils ont lancé. Donc, on s'est fixé le même objectif, euh, à savoir donc 2 000 alumni au 15 juin 2024, puisque nous avons lancé la plateforme le 15 juin 2023. Et donc, là, vous avez quelques, quelques chiffres. Merci. <rire> Merci, Jasmine. Donc, on est grosso modo à 1200 euh, aujourd'hui, ce qui n'est pas mauvais euh, puisqu'on a lancé ça le 15 juin. Euh, vous aurez un, un nouveau euh, message d'accueil dans cette communauté le 15 octobre. Euh, et donc, chacun d'entre vous a un login et un password qui sont personnels. Euh, ce n'est pas quelque chose qu'on peut passer à quelqu'un d'autre. Et donc, voilà, c'est vraiment unique et c'est uniquement pour vous. Euh, et puis, ben, je suis très confiante que d'ici euh, le 15 juin 2024, on aura nos, nos 2000 personnes. Euh, donc voilà, et voilà, grosso modo, ce que vous pouvez faire donc, dans ce directory, vous pouvez retrouver vos camarades de volée. Donc tout le monde, absolument tout le monde est dedans, euh, parce que historiquement, c'est important que l'on sache qui, a, qui est passé par cette maison. Donc les personnes qui nous ont quittés euh, sont aussi évidemment dans le directory pour qu'on sache ces personnes ont été là et ont étudié de telle année à telle année et ont étudié tel programme. Ça, ça fait partie du domaine public. Donc ça, tout le monde peut y avoir accès. Euh, et puis sinon, vous, vous-même, vous, vous pouvez maîtriser euh, la visibilité de vos données. Est-ce que vous souhaitez qu'on voit uniquement votre profil LinkedIn ou est-ce que vous souhaitez que l'on voit votre business address, etc., etc. Donc ça, c'est vraiment vous qui, les, qui le décidez. Et donc, l'idée, c'est que nous ayons des groupes. Donc nous avons, vous avez vu la slide précédente, nous avons 84 groupes, si ma mémoire est bonne. Donc tous les chapters sont devenus des groupes. Tous les ambassadeurs sont aussi devenus des groupes. Et ensuite, on a ajouté euh, huit nouveaux groupes par euh, programme d'études. Et donc, en fait, tous ces groupes sont nourris avec les données que nous avons sur vous. Donc, ça peut être faux. Mais par exemple, si vous êtes, euh, let's say, américain, vous allez automatiquement faire partie du chapitre de Washington, par exemple, euh, ou de New York. Après, vous pouvez bien sûr vous enlever. Mais en tout cas, tous les chapitres sont nourris déjà euh, à la base de, de, de cette manière-là. Et puis voilà, euh, qu'est-ce que je peux vous dire d'autre sur cette plateforme Vous avez la possibilité de créer des événements, on a la possibilité d'avoir des événements qui sont payants, a priori ça devrait fonctionner, on va euh, improve un petit peu parce qu'on s'est rendu compte évidemment qu'avec la réunion c'était un petit peu compliqué pour certaines personnes, donc on va voir, euh, on, va, on, va, on va modifier tous les bugs après la réunion, mais voilà, l'idée c'est qu'on puisse aussi passer par cette plateforme pour faire absolument tout, en fait, se retrouver, euh, créer des événements, payer des choses, euh, et puis il y a des murs de discussion, donc vraiment vous avez cette possibilité d'être dans un réseau qui est fait uniquement d'anciens de cette maison, donc vous êtes quelque part dans un domaine connu et, et sécur, euh, voilà. Le 19, le 167 alors, le, la, la, la colonne centrale, c'est le nombre de personnes qui nous ont demandé d'être opt-out, c'est-à-dire qu'ils ne souhaitent pas faire partie de la plateforme, et ils nous l'ont dit. Euh, et puis, la dernière colonne, c'est euh, ce qu'on appelle des cases, c'est-à-dire des gens qui nous ont contactés pour faire quelque chose sur leur profil. Et je dirais que sur les 167, il doit y en avoir 155 
qui souhaite changer d'employeur, en fait, parce que la donnée euh, de l'employeur, on, on a souhaité continuer à la saisir nous-mêmes, parce que euh, quelqu'un pourrait saisir, par exemple, la conférence des Nations Unies euh, sur le désarmement, et puis quelqu'un va dire « the UN conference on whatever », et le suivant va mettre un acronyme en français, et le quatrième un acronyme en anglais, et donc on ne va jamais retrouver tous les, toutes les personnes sur le même employeur. Donc c'est pour ça qu'on a souhaité garder la main là-dessus, pour le début en tout cas, et c'est pour ça qu'on a 167 cases. Voilà. Merci, Karine. So this platform, I want to just say, has been a dream for years. You know, I think almost from when I joined the committee eight years ago, we've been talking about having a more performant platform that can really um, execute a lot of activities to bring the community together and students as well. And it's taken a while. Karine did a lot of research into what kind of platforms were good, what other alumni communities from other universities around the world were using. And then we had to persuade the administration to agree to adopt one. So, you know, I just want to say this is like a dream that has finally been realized. And it's been a lot of work, I know, for Karine's team also just shaping it, testing it, you know, but we hope that it will be worth it. And it will be up to every one of us to use it, to understand how to use it. As Karine said, if you don't understand how to use it, I know her and her team will be very happy to help. But, um, you know, it'll hopefully, like I say, be a worthwhile investment over the years. Um, so I want to go back to... Um, first, I think it would be good to just see if there are any questions about any of the content that I shared about the activities over the last year. We are going to talk about activities coming up in the next year, but if there are any questions, especially around this side, I'd like to just give you a chance if anyone has any questions or comments. Yes. Absolutely. Or you can you can also do it in your group if you want, or on your wall. Everything is is doable. Um, the the only maybe little thing I have to um, to detail is uh, in fact we had 161 diploma, and we had to merge them. Uh, par exemple, uh, on a un diplôme en économie internationale, on a un master en économie internationale. Aujourd'hui, on a donc le nom a changé et donc on a dû merger un peu les noms des les noms des diplômes. Donc peut-être que vous, bon, on a essayé que ce soit évident quand même. Uh, donc l'idée, c'est que tous les économistes de toutes les générations depuis bientôt 100 ans soient dans le même groupe, etc., etc. Ça, c'est la petite chose qui a été assez difficile à mettre en place. Et les gens qui ont une licence ont toujours une licence, même si c'est équivalent master, mais afin qu'ils retrouvent simplement leur, euh, leur cohorte. C'est ce genre de petits détails. Mais sinon, voilà, qu'on ait un, un diplôme euh, d'études supérieures, un diplôme d'études approfondies ou un master, on est tous ensemble par euh, programme d'études. Okay. Est-ce qu'il y a encore des questions ou des commentaires And welcome to those who have joined us since we started. So um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to come back to the committee because I want to share with you some changes that are taking place in the committee. Um, and then we're going to move on to ask you to approve some of those changes. Um, so as I mentioned, there are a few of us who will be There are a few of us who will be stepping down um, this year, who have been on the committee for a while. Um, that includes myself. Um, I've been on the committee, as I said, for eight years, so I've done two terms of four years. So I will be stepping down um, from the committee as from this year. Um, Jason Shelleby, who has also served on the committee for eight years, will also be stepping down this year. Um, we have Jasmine, I'm sorry, we have Walid Abdel Nasser, who has also been with us um, for four years on the committee, and he will be stepping down this year. Um, Jessica Byron, 
who um, has been with us for four years now. We are hoping to re-elect her to the committee, so we would like you to approve her nomination so that she can serve a second term. Um, so those are some of the immediate changes um, in terms of this committee that you see here. So I wanted you to all be aware of these as we go on to propose some new members to take the place of those of us who are sitting down, but um, who are stepping down. But as I said, I really want to acknowledge everyone who has um, been part of this committee. You know, everyone is a volunteer, has full-time jobs. So agreeing to serve on the committee, I see it as an honor, but I also know that it does take extra time. So to all my committee members who are here, again, I just want to say thank you for the effort that you've made. Um, in terms... We have discussed amongst the committee um, what the new, um, who the new heads of the committee will be. And over the past year, um, Jasmine Dazaisen has and Ting, um, Ting Fang have served as vice president to my presidency. So we have asked if they can t step up <coughs> to be the new heads of the committee. And Jasmine has kindly agreed to serve as the new president of the committee and Ting has agreed to serve as Vice President. So. Yeah, so I want to also say that, I want to recognize Paul Mathieu who is here with us because I served as Vice President to Paul when he was President and working with him was just a lot of fun. Um, you know, he was on the committee when I joined um, and I learned a lot from working with him both here when I'd come to Geneva and interact with him, but also in the US where he ran the Washington DC chapter. I was living in New York at the time. I went to DC, joined Paul for some of his reunions of the Washington chapter. He would come to New York, join us for the um, you know, receptions and so on of the New York committee. He mentored us when I was in the New York um, committee, the chapter, and you know he encouraged us to also create a scholarship in the New York chapter. Um, he was just very good at helping us understand how to make a chapter function. I think Paul has been an inspiration to many of us who have been on the committee. I know Ting has also mentioned that. Sorry to call you out, Ting. So, Paul, I do want to acknowledge you because just because someone has been on the committee and steps down doesn't mean you have to disengage. And the fact that you're here now is proof of that. And I hope for those of us who are stepping down, you'll continue to see us. We'll continue to support the work of the Institute. So, really just wanted to... So now that I've shared the changes in the committee, I'm going to passer le baton, um, literally, and I'm going to ask Jasmine and Ting to take us through the next part of the program, starting with Ting, who is going to introduce to you the new members that we um, hope to nominate to the committee today. Thank you very much, Natalie. So following Natalie's introduction, uh, I have the pleasure to introduce to you a few uh, nominations we propose for the next committee. Yeah, yeah. It's coming? Yeah, next. Oh, cool. So the first nomination we would like to propose is Suba Umateva. She was born in Sri Lanka originally, and she has been involved in various nonprofit work. She was the CEO of Plan International Switzerland, and today she is the CEO of Draw SOS Foundation. So the foundation supports projects aimed at promoting life skills of disadvantaged children and young people. And she's also a member of the assembly of the International Committee of the Red Cross. So would, would I ask if you accept this nomination? Thank you very much. 
So no, unfortunately, she's in the field, unfortunately, Suba is not able not. to be present because she's traveling. Um, so we look forward to welcome her in our next occasion uh, of uh, committee me meeting. And the second uh, nomination is Mr. Mahmoud Samandari. Uh, he holds a PhD in international law from the Institute. He confounded and presided over the first national alumni chapter of the Institute in Quito, Ecuador. He is the Secretary General of the Global Governance Forum, as well as the founder and Secretary General of EB, EBBF, uh, Ethical Business Building the Future. He oversees the international expansion of SO.com in several continents. Uh, a serious entrepreneur, he was a pioneer in establishing the first satellite-based interactive distance learning platform in Latin America in the 90s. Build joint ventures, set up PPP projects and several setups in the field of IT, telecommunication, public transportation, mobile application and education, both in Europe and Latin America. There are so many achievements uh, of Mr. Mahmoud Samandari. I am sure a lot of people know him in this room. And uh, fortunately, we have him in the room. Uh, if I could kindly request Mahmoud, would you stand up so people can see you? So here he is. So would you accept the nomination, please? Thank you very much. This is so accepted. And we have also Kosiwa Jacqueline Tosupe. Uh, she is a global diversity, equity, uh, equity and inclusion advisor at UBS. She started her career in 2009 as the first black female police officer in Zurich. This experience sparked her drive to specialize in diversity and inclusion policy development and management. Uh, during her studies in IHID, she also worked for Geneva Center for Security Sector Policy, DCAF, and also uh, the United Nations Institute for Training and Research, UNITAR. And Jacqueline is also the founder and former CEO of the diversity consulting firm, uh, Kese Kurix, which she started as a block during her studies in Geneva. Uh, she was born originally in Ghana and migrated with her single mom to Zurich in 1990. She holds a master degree in international affairs from the Institute and a bachelor degree in national criminal justice from John Day College of uh, Criminal Justice. Um, so we also have the pleasure to have her in the room. Would you kindly stand up? That's good. So would you accept the nomination? Thank you very much. Then we have uh, Matthew Stevenson. He is the, she is head of uh, investment policy and the practice at the World Economic Forum, uh, where he manages the global investment and policy services. and the practice initiative, including projects in five countries and plans to launch an alliance to enable action on sustainable investment. He has developed the concept of digital FDI and uh, sustainable technology. Previously, he worked at International Finance Corporation on advisory service for investment policy, where he led the work stream on outward FDA and co-authored the World Bank Group's first publication on OFDI. He has also worked at the OECD on Africa and on investment and was a diplomat with the US Department of State, where he led the economic team on Afghanistan and managed economic progress in the Middle East. And uh, Matthew is based in Geneva, and we have the pressure of uh, Matthew uh, in this room. Would you please stand up so people can see you? Would you accept the nomination? Thank you very much. Thank you. And also, we would like to ask you if you would like to relax re Jessica as uh, our 
uh, as his her second term in our committee. <laughs> Thank you very much. So now I will pass the floor to Jasmine so she could talk about our priorities for the next year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ting. Uh, maybe just go back. <laughs> Uh, before saying the goodbye and thank you, I'll just quickly go to the priorities um, for the next year. And, and first of all, um, thank you everyone for accepting me to be, <laughs> become the president of um, the Alumni Committee. I'm, I'm really honored. Uh, I've been now, that's my third year, and uh, I had lots of fun with that group. Super motivated people, very enthusiastic and, and loyal, as you said. And uh, while we're a very diverse group, as you can see, uh, coming from all corners of the world and having uh, very diverse backgrounds and uh, also actually generational-wise uh, very diverse, we have actually something very important in common, and that's our education here, right? And all the learning that we take uh, out. So that's uh, it's really, really great. And also, actually, I would also quickly mention Paul because, I mean, it's the tenth, right? <laughs> and you have been instrumental to making that happen in the first place, actually even the first one. So uh, yeah, it's an honor to have you continuously uh, engage with uh, the wider alumni group, and I'm sure that um, all the outgoing ones uh, will do the same going forward. So thank you very much. <laughs> um, when it comes to the priorities uh, for the next year, so you have the three, je vais passer en français pour mixer un peu, parce qu'on a entendu beaucoup d'anglais jusqu'à présent. Um, on a les trois, les trois priorités, les trois axes um, de, de, notre, de nos priorités qui sont là, que vous voyez uh, uh, à, à votre gauche. Et puis, on a les différentes activités. Um, donc, on va continuer à, à aider, surtout Karine, hein, qui est instrumentale pour, 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 pour organiser euh, nos événements, euh, dans, dans tout le support qu'on peut lui donner aussi pour organiser la réunion des alumni, euh, et aussi d'aider à, à développer des groupes, des chapters, hein, comme, comme on les appelait jusqu'à présent, et je pense que ça va rester aussi encore un peu. Et euh, en fait, un point qui est très, très important euh, pour nous, c'est qu'on euh, a un, un, vraiment un grand potentiel ici à Genève. On avait commencé à développer un peu le, le chapitre, hein, le, le réseau euh, Genevois, mais on a été un peu arrêté avec euh, le Covid. Voilà. Donc maintenant, avec une représentation plus importante de Genevois dans euh, l'association, on aimerait vraiment donner à nouveau un, un, un coup de pouce ici et euh, profiter du fait qu'on soit là et proche du Graduate Institute, proche des, des étudiants aussi, hein, de favoriser cet échange. Et donc ça, ça sera vraiment, euh, je pense, un peu un projet phare de cette année. Je, pense. Et je vois que Mathieu, déjà, il est très euh, motivé euh, de, de travailler sur ça. Voilà. Euh, puis, bien évidemment, on a la stratégie euh, de, de Marie-Laure, de la directrice, qu'elle avait déjà présentée euh, dans, dans le passé, et on va l'aider dans l'implémentation de cette stratégie qui est très importante parce qu'elle modernise d'un côté euh, notre institut tout en, en, fait, en se basant sur les forces euh, de l'institut. Et on la soutient dans ça, surtout aussi en visant euh, un, grand, euh, un grand événement qu'on aura très bientôt. Et ça, c'est les 100 ans de l'institut. Voilà, c'est dans cet esprit qu'on soutient euh, le Graded Institute euh, dans cette année. Euh, ah oui, un point très très important, on en a parlé un peu, c'est euh, la plateforme euh, qui a été mise en place euh, par, euh, par l'équipe de Karine cet été. Euh, vous avez donc eu, on a entendu ça, l'email le 15 juin pour vous inscrire. Donc c'est assez facile de retrouver l'email euh, dans votre boîte euh, de courriel. Si vous ne le retrouvez pas, vous aurez le prochain petit reminder qui ne va pas tarder, euh, je crois le 15 juin. Euh, octobre, si je ne me trompe pas. Et euh, je me suis amusée moi-même aussi à mettre en place euh, mon profil, de mettre une photo, euh, 
j'ai regardé si toutes les données étaient... Bon, c'est assez facile, c'est très intuitif à utiliser, donc je vous, je vous conseille vivement vraiment d'aller sur, sur cette plateforme. On peut aussi euh, voir un peu c'est qui les autres euh, personnes de nos réseaux. On peut les follow, un peu comme on fait euh, sur euh, d'autres réseaux sociaux, ce qui est assez sympa. J'ai tout de suite cliqué sur Karine, qui m'a tout de suite euh, refollow. Donc voilà, ça crée un peu du réseautage aussi en dehors euh, des événements, comme on les a... Maintenant, donc je, vous, je vous encourage vivement. Je suis sûre qu'on ne va pas devoir année, attendre une année pour atteindre les 10 hein, voilà. Donc C'est aussi un peu notre travail de montrer l'exemple, d'encourager euh, tout le monde de, de se mettre sur ce réseau, ce qui nous permettra, nous, euh, à l'association, aussi d'être plus, plus proche en fait, des alumni et des étudiants. Et aussi de, de faire en sorte qu'on qu comprenne aussi vos attentes en tant qu'alumni. Hein. C'est... Euh, on est un groupe très, très divers qui fait notre force, mais c'est un peu comme un, un orchestre quand on a différents instruments et chacun fait son truc. Ce n'est pas joli à écouter. <rire> Donc, il faut qu'on même on trouve la façon de bien travailler ensemble, de comprendre c'est quoi les attentes de chaque groupe. Et c'est ça ce qui va aussi nous permettre un peu de, de trouver un peu nos... Faire en sorte que les priorités aussi reflètent en fait vos attentes que vous avez envers l'Institut et nous, en tant qu'association des alumni. Et, euh, et voilà. Donc ça, c'est un peu pour ce qu'on sait des priorités. On va euh, nous retrouver dans le nouveau comité bientôt et discuter de tout ça. Et euh, voilà, on a hâte de vous tenir au courant des, des, des progrès et euh, d'être là à nouveau après l'année prochaine. Voilà. Je crois que c'est bon. Est-ce que vous avez des questions des idées, l'attente. Oui, Paul. Oui, tout à fait. Alors, il y avait euh, cet exercice qui avait été fait, exploré, euh, et il y a Mahmoud qui était aussi très impliqué dans ça, euh, qui reste euh, aussi... Au qui va nous rejoindre dans, dans le comité. Je pense que c'est quelque chose qu'on va revoir aussi dans le groupe pour voir comment, qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire exactement et comment. Karine, peut-être tu veux aussi dire quelques mots. Euh, oui, comme tu vois, Paul, c est, c est aussi, ça fait parmi des priorités aussi pour, pour l'année. Donc, c'est vrai que le programme de mentoring était extrêmement important et qu'on a fait un test, un pilote, tu en as fait partie. Et donc, tout le, tout le challenge du pilote qu'on avait travaillé aussi avec Nathalie, c'était de dire, euh, on le fera bien quand on aura une plateforme. Mm -hmm. Donc, on a la plateforme. Et donc, c'est pour ça qu'il faudrait qu'on ait au moins 10 des gens. Et ensuite, dans la deuxième phase, on va introduire toutes les questions de « career », euh, peut-être on va travailler avec Career Services, évidemment, pour tout ce qui est offre de stage, d'emploi, etc. Et évidemment, c'est à ce moment-là que l'idée d'introduire le mentoring est, est là. Donc oui, euh, d'ici, ben, si ça va plus vite que le 15 juin, on pourra peut-être le faire avant. Mais l'idée, c'est que si les étudiants arrivent sur la plateforme et qu'il n'y a pas un nombre suffisant d'alumni pour pouvoir offrir du mentoring, on s'est dit qu'ils ne vont pas revenir. Oui, donc, voilà. <rire> donc et ça va faciliter le matching et Exactement. tout ce qui va avec. Voilà. Exactement, donc c'est tout à fait l'idée, ce sera dans la phase 2 du, du programme. Et puis comme on a des personnes aussi qui ont suivi une formation continue, euh, j'en profite pour euh, ben, justement les intégrer aussi dans la plateforme. Ce sera la troisième phase, puisque là on se retrouve aussi avec des nouveaux diplômes qu'il va aussi falloir merger et c'était un petit peu compliqué de merger tout en même temps euh, au lancement de la plateforme. Donc les gens, les alumni de la formation continue euh, arriveront dans la plateforme en troisième. Voilà. Oui Yes, yeah, yeah, they are in. No, 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 no they will no. come for the, the next part. Yeah, <laughs> they will be there. And tonight uh, at the gala dinner, we also have several students who decided to come by their own. Uh, even, yes, and so this is absolutely nice. And so hopefully, yes, this afternoon, they registered. Um, then uh, we mm -hmm. don't know if they will come, but normally, for sure, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. I'm just curious about the activities you have in place to 
to make the network more connected. I mean, besides the platform and everything else, uh, like mentoring, coaching, matching, you, you can elaborate on that. Yes, so we have um, the alumni, uh, you know, activities that you probably also receive through the newsletter. There are many activities happening through, throughout the year. And then the platform, really the idea is to be, be closer and, and make sure that we have more events or more opportunities uh, to, to connect. The mentoring, as, as Karen mentioned before, is something that we want to develop. But we said after a pilot phase that we want to make sure that we have actually the right platform to do that because um, the the organization of a men mentoring is quite time intensive. <laughs> and uh, especially if you work on, on Excel or so, that just takes too much time. So the idea was, because there was a plan to have the platform, to have the platform first, to make sure we have a very good representation of, uh, of the alumni there, and then the students come uh, as well, and we can do the matching much more easily. Yeah, but the idea is really to engage throughout the year be it on the platform, but also actually through our events and yeah, and chapters or groups. This, yes, please. This this is that this is going to happen just today. Exactly. To match students. Mm, and exactly. Alumni. Absolutely. There is a, a you, you I see you also have that. Uh, very good. Please. Bon, uh, bonjour à tous. Uh, je suis Vincent Gomez Garcia. Je viens de la Bolivie. Uh, je reviens depuis 30 ans, si je tra traduis en uh, 92, à uh, économie internationale. Donc, uh, j'aurais une question à propos de vos projets pour les 100 ans. Est-ce que vous avez, vous avez quelque chose de plus spécifique en, en tête Merci beaucoup. <rire> Au niveau institutionnel, euh, je ne peux pas vous dire. Mais par rapport à, aux alumni, euh, l'idée, c'est de créer une vingtaine de portraits chaque année, depuis l'année dernière. Euh, donc, 20 l'année dernière, cette année, une vingtaine également. Euh, et donc, l'idée, c'est que nous en ayons 100 pour le centième. Euh, il y a évidemment les alumni qui ont un grand parcours, euh, euh, voilà, mais il y a aussi de jeunes alumni, ceux que nous appelons les « rising stars », euh, qui ont des projets invraisemblables euh, et qui sont en train de monter vitesse grand V. Euh, je pense par exemple aux frères euh, Igazi qui sont là derrière, euh, qui ont reçu déjà passablement de prix euh, pour ce qu'ils font en santé publique. Euh, je pense aussi à Jacqueline euh, qui, qui rejoint le comité euh, aujourd'hui. Et en fait, les Rising Stars, vous allez voir leur pro euh, profil sur les écrans. Euh, ils ne sont pas encore imprimés parce qu'ils sont en train de « rising so ». Peut-être qu'ils ne vont pas aller jusqu'à l'impression sur le, sur le port portrait, mais pour l'instant, ils sont sur des, sur des, sur des écrans. Et donc, l'idée pour nous, c'est effectivement d'avoir ces 100 portraits. Idéalement, on aimerait se retrouver au Grand Théâtre de Genève parce que c'est là qu'on a été inauguré il y a 100 ans. Euh, vu euh, le coût du Grand Théâtre de Genève, à moins que Genève nous l'offre, on ne pourra pas euh, se le payer. Donc on verra. Mais on a des idées, on a des envies, on a de l'ambition, comme toujours, et on verra, on fera au mieux. <rire> et on a Merci. besoin du soutien du groupe des, des alumni pour <rire> <rire> réaliser euh, ses rêves. Voilà. <rire> Tout à fait. D'autres questions Other questions Well, well, we'll have uh, the occasion to connect this afternoon and then, of course, also tonight. I hope uh, to see uh, you all also at the gala tonight. And I think with that, we're actually coming to the end. Yeah, I don't yes. know if we have questions maybe online. Ah, yeah, very good point. Okay, it's true. Paul? Yes, of course, of course, please. You have. Well, allow me to, uh, this is my last meeting as committee member uh, before uh, stepping down after four years uh, officially and five years practically working with the committee. I uh, informally joined actually during uh, under Paul's leadership with the mentoring group, which was coordinated by Nathalie then, we had Mahmoud, Mathieu, and others colleagues who were working with uh, students at that time in this mentoring program. And then the following year, I uh, formally uh, was elected to the uh, committee. So I spent the four years under the leadership of Natalie. Actually, we had Jason for some time as vice president, and then Jasmine and Ting. 
and uh, actually it was a very pleasant experience for me. I, I should thank uh, all of them, should thank Paul, Natalie, Jason, Ting, uh, Jasmine, and uh, the last year we had the pleasure of uh, having uh, Brenda, uh, sorry. Um, uh, Brindus. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, Marcus and them. I joined at the same time with Jessica, so we have been four years uh, accompanying each other, and, and I wish her all the best in continuing. I wish all the new uh, members who are joining all the best uh, wishes. Uh, I have known uh, Mahmoud since before, of course, and uh, Matthews has uh, just uh, met uh, for the first time yesterday and Jackie today, and then uh, Soba, I think she's not here today, but uh, uh, Brindusa also is not here. We have been together the past couple of years, and uh, I wish them all success in the future. I've worked very closely. I've known Karim for longer time and work very closely with her and her team, and they have been one, doing a wonderful job for all of us as alumni. Uh, and I thank you all for your support during this past four years, and I wish the alumni committee and the uh, alumni community all the best in the coming days. Thank you so much. Thank you. I would like to say a few words. Uh, to, uh, to thank uh, you all and uh, to thank Walid who is leaving and, and Jason, recognize Jason's uh, very big contribution over the years with communications and with presentations and, and other things. Jason's not here, but we, uh, we want to thank, thank him. And uh, Natalie for her leadership. I think uh, through the pandemic was not easy. And uh, I think uh, the signs of a good leadership also <clears throat> is continuity and passing it on. We've seen some of the uh, problems with that. We're political in, in, in the United States where people are not willing to leave and they have not formed anybody to take over from them. It's a bad <laughs> leadership. Here we've got a, an example of good leadership. <clears throat> and I'm very, very uh, happy to see Mahmoud, senior statesman of the Institute, and Matthew rising, and a policewoman on the committee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're very, very, very good hands. And uh, I want to thank all the rest of you who are also, uh, and wish the best to Jasmine uh, to, to really carry this forward with thing, things help, and all of you. Um, and of course, we need to uh, give to know Marcos as well. So Natalie, thank you very, very much for all that you did in the very difficult period, all the way from uh, Johannesburg. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's not, not easy. And now we have a local, a local team, uh, Jasmine and uh, Matthew and Mahmoud, who, who are here. So we're hoping that uh, we'll... Uh, in okay. Zurich. She's in Zurich. She's in Zurich. Okay. And Marcos, where are you? Sao Paulo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Same place. Very good. So uh, thank you very much, Natalie and Walid and, and Jason. And congratulations and all the very best. And I know you'll continue to be involved. And good luck, Jasmine. Thank you, Paul. And again, like I say, you helped to set the model in terms of smooth transition. So, you know, thank you for, for being that role model. Um, what I would like to do before we close up is to ask everyone to just acknowledge our dear Kalyan. No, it's for you. Yes, no. <laughs> Um, Karine, Karine travaille um, sans fatigue. Um, she is always constant. She's always consistent. She's always ready to help. Um, you know, she puts her everything into the alumni community. I remember from the first time I ever got a LinkedIn message years ago saying, join the, you know, Ashley de, um, chapter, um, the LinkedIn group. I was like, oh, wow, okay. And then I met Karine and I realized there was this force of nature who was driving everything. And that has just not changed, you know. So we, we all are here because Karine helps to make it happen. And she does it with a smile, she does it with elegance. I tell her she's a real pro. And I also want to acknowledge her team who's working with it um, mm -hmm. this year, Katarina and Mete, because I know... Um, <laughs> So they, they are also instrumental, critical to making sure that when we come together every year at this time, that everything goes smoothly. So thank you, Katarina and Mete. Um, so with that, I will let uh, Madame 
um, President Jasmin, close us up. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, everyone. And I think yeah, we had uh, very good words from our outgoing president. It was a pleasure working with you. Uh, thank you for your leadership. And uh, as we said with, with uh, Jessica yesterday, this calmness, even in uh, stormy weather, I mean, it's really impressive how you do that. So <laughs> we have a lot to learn. So yeah. Thanks you very much. Thank sure. you very much for, yeah. for everything. And I look forward to continue being engaged. And uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. It's just the beginning, actually, of yeah, a long day half and an night. Hour. So you have a break. little break now, and then we continue at 3:30 uh, with a very interesting panel. <laughs>